Welcome, and thanks for watching our picks for the nine strangest places on Earth. Let's begin. The country of Azerbaijan sits in between the Middle East and Russia. Nicknamed the Land of Fire, it has some truly amazing rock carvings made by ancient people in the area of Gobustan. The rock carvings range from animals like bulls to strange human-like figures that are often drawn with long, thin bodies. There are also carvings of long boats, something that the people of the area aren't known to have or use. The famous Norwegian explorer Thor Heyerdahl believed that the ancient people of Azerbaijan traveled north and that Scandinavia originated from this area. The theory has been heavily criticized, but it sure does make you think. Why would the people living here need boats designed for open ocean rather than inland sea? Located near the southern city of Aswan in Egypt lies a stone quarry famous for an unfinished obelisk weighing more than an estimated 1100 tons. The obelisk was near completion when some kind of catastrophic crack penetrated not only the obelisk but the entire rock quarry, rendering the obelisk and the whole quarry useless. There are many questions surrounding not only the construction of the obelisk but the intentions to move it to its final resting place. Egyptologists say that the obelisk was carved with hundreds if not thousands thousands of workers chipping away at the rock cliff with stone pounders. Upon completion, the entire obelisk would have been dragged onto a boat and shipped down the Nile River to its final resting place. Oddly enough, there are many scoop marks on the side of the obelisk which don't really have an explanation. Located in western Bolivia near Lake Titicaca are the ruins of one of the most significant Andean civilizations called Tiwanaku. Its influence extended from Peru to Chile. The central pyramid is massive and was buried under several meters of mud. Even more strange than that are the ghastly heads carved from local stone that greet visitors with a terrifying look. There are theories that a possible meteor strike in the area of Lake Titicaca caused a massive tidal wave to wipe out the entire region and bury this once massive complex. Another interesting landmark is the Sun Gate. How was it moved and placed in an area known not to have any heavy pack animals or any wheeled carts? Solomon's Temple was once located in what is present-day Jerusalem in Israel. Described as being one of the most beautiful temples of the time, it supposedly even housed the Ark of the Covenant. Today, not much of the first or second temple built on the Temple Mount area remains. For Jews, the Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall, serves as a reminder of Jewish history. On the street level, the wall itself is made up of large blocks. But when you go in the subterranean tunnels, you will find a stone that is 45 feet in length and about 13 feet wide. It weighs about 570 tons. That's more than a Boeing 747 airplane fully loaded. Archaeologists and engineers claim that it was lifted with a series of pulleys using ropes and manpower, but alternative theorists say that the size and weight of the rock make that almost impossible, and that some other type of lost technology was used in placing the enormous stones. Located in the Peruvian coastal plain is one of the most famous geoglyph sites covering an area of over 380 square miles are more than 300 different figures. There are also numerous crisscrossing lines, some of which measure over 90 feet wide and stretch for more than three and a half miles. One particular geoglyph is nicknamed the astronaut for its resemblance of a helmet and a spacesuit. The biggest question is, without aerial assistance, how did the people on the ground manage to draw really elaborate shapes and animals? Recent experiments have proved it is possible using simply a stick and rope as a guide. For now, how these were made will remain a mystery. Although some alternative theorists claim that the straight lines are actually runways for extraterrestrial vehicles, it's more than likely the lines were indicative of underground water sources. Off the southern coast of Japan lies an underwater anomaly. It's known as the Yonaguni Monument. It has since become a hot topic of debate amongst researchers and archaeologists as to whether or not the site is man-made. The site is often referred to as the Japanese Atlantis. Even amateur divers can visit the site which sits at a depth of about 85 feet. There are even areas that resemble turtles and human faces. More research is required before any definitive answer can be given about the origin or possible builders. The most remote island on Earth is also famous for its massive statues that are called Moai. Easter Island is over 2100 miles away from the nearest continental point in the country of Chile. Much like other large stone structures worldwide, 
the Moai's location with regards to the point where they were carved is the subject of great debate. The tallest Moai is almost 33 feet and weighed about 90 tons. Some of the Moai have bodies but were intentionally buried up to their necks. Why did the Easter Islanders undertake such a colossal statue building effort considering they were so isolated? There is evidence that shows that the inhabitants destroyed the ecosystem of the island and when they started to war against each other, the statues went from significant to a target for destruction. Above the city of Cusco lies the ancient fortress remains of Sacsayhuaman. Its walls are built from various sized stones in seemingly random geometric patterns. This colossal fortress, which is now in ruins, is an architectural wonder. Yet even today, one cannot slide a piece of paper between two stones. Another mystery is the size and weight of some of the stones, with one of the largest recorded being at around 300 tons. Some of the stones came from miles away with limited understanding of how they were brought to the site where the fortress was later built. No heavy pack animals lived in the area prior to the Spanish arrival in the 1500s, so how were the stones moved? There have been many theories, including that of levitation, but today nothing definitive has been proven. Although it didn't make the list, the Bermuda Triangle is one of the most enigmatic and dangerous places in the whole world for small and large ships alike. There are hundreds of missing ships that went down in these waters, some of which have been found, many of which have never been seen again. Even Christopher Columbus was said to have experienced unexplained events while sailing through the area. There are reports that his compass malfunctioned and that he saw strange lights in and out of the water. The most famous disappearance was that of Flight 19 on December 5, 1945. Five Avenger torpedo bombers disappeared while on training flight in the Triangle. Not far off the coast of North Bimini Island lies what's nicknamed as the Bimini Road, a section of stones at a depth of 18 feet. First discovered in 1968, it has since morphed as a possible connection or section of the mythical city of Atlantis. It's highly unlikely that the road is anything but a natural formation. The most famous secret that everyone knows about, Area 51 has been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories for decades. A secret government testing facility located in Nevada is the testing grounds for next generation military aircraft. Some say the technology for building these aircraft came from repurposed extraterrestrial aircraft. Located some 15 miles outside of the city of Cairo in Egypt is our pick for the number one most mysterious place on Earth. The Serapium of Saqqara is an underground tunnel system that houses more than a dozen solid stone boxes. The boxes can range in weight from 100 to 200 tons and the lids can weigh as much as 100 additional tons. Said to house the mummified bodies of bulls, the boxes are an exquisite work of art manufactured in laser-like precision. The debate centers on the fact that the boxes, some made of hard granite stone, have perfect 90 degrees smooth angles yet the writing on the outer boxes often looks like poor quality work made by banging copper chisels into the stone. Whatever the true function of the stone boxes was, it is no doubt a huge technological feat for the ancient Egyptian builders. How were they able to cut the boxes from one piece of stone with such precision? How were they able to move the boxes from above ground to below ground with seeming ease? Whatever the purpose, the site will continue to intrigue visitors for generations to come. That's it for this list of the nine strangest places on earth. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. We will continue to output new episodes, so stay tuned.